Over the past couple of weeks, Bitcoin has been on a tremendous uptrend. Altcoins have been pumping 50%, 75%, over 100%. Some have been doing just insane astronomical numbers in a couple of weeks. I mean, Bitcoin went over 100K for the first time in its history. I mean, these are just crazy, crazy times. I Like I said in my video the other day, I think we're still in the very early stages of this the cycle specifically if you look at historical data but it, amid, amongst all of this happening there's been one cryptocurrency that has been one of the worst performers and that is caspa and and a lot of people are asking themselves because it's so crazy to think that caspa outperformed every cryptocurrency in 2022 and 2023 and yet it is the worst performer in this past couple of weeks that we've seen Bitcoin go from 66,000 to 105,000, Caspa's pretty much been sideways, right? So <laughs> a lot of you are calling it a stable coin, right? You're seeing just crazy kind of things that are people starting to say when price doesn't go up. And I want to tell you that there is beauty in the opportunity that is currently presented to you. Because when people start to have this type of mentality, that is when things start going parabolic. So we're going to talk about that in today's video, talk about some of the other things that are currently going on, Caspa related. If you're new here, my name is Alex, top of crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. You enjoyed this video, smash up the like, put that for the ado, let's jump in the video. So as we dive in, I really want to kind of look at two things right now that are kind of going on for Caspa, right? You have a lot of people who are in the Caspa community who see Caspa really stagnant to a certain degree. And then you have a, a separate part of the crypto space that for some reason exists where there's this ongoing battle between, I wouldn't say necessarily good and evil, but it's portrayed as a battle of good and evil between Kadena and Caspa. And as I've talked about before on the channel, I think there is plenty of space in the cryptocurrency market for both Kadena and Caspa. It doesn't have to be one or the other, but for some reason, there's become this unbreakable bond of forever war between Caspa and Kadena for some other reason. And typically what you see in, is from both camps, when Caspa is down, people from Kadena dump on caspa and when Kadena is down like it has been for the majority of the cycle obviously a lot of people from the caspa community take their time to dump on Kadena. now here's the thing i've been very much in a middleman approach because i think diversification is always great in the end i think the technology behind caspa and what caspa has to offer is a lot better that is my personal opinion Everyone is entitled to their own. That doesn't mean I think Kadena is worth zero. There's always meme coins that are worth something, right? So when you look at the opportunity of where Caspa is today, you're going to have a lot of noise. And I've talked about this before in the past. We've talked about noise in this space when Caspa was back at five cents, noise in the space when Caspa was at 10 cents, noise in the space when Caspa first hit 15 cents, right? And we're going to see this again when cash was at 25 cents, when cash was at 50 cents, when cash was at a dollar. Anytime when we see cash not performing, people are going to create noise and really the noise is just a distraction. And so when you look at the times when cash has had its best performances, it's typically when people kind of get frustrated that things are not going up when everything else is or when things are going sideways. Now, this is a daily chart for Caspa, and I think it's a perfect representation of a few things. One, we have a solid level of support right down here at 10 cents, right? There's a level of, I, I don't think we'll ever see Caspa below 10 cents. We may see it in a very short, short, short wick of price for Caspa, but I don't think we're going to see a long-term Caspa trend below the 10 cent line. Now, at the same time, we see Caspa really floating between 15 and 17 cents. This is kind of where Caspa has been one way or another. Um, it is the median price between 19 and the price of 10 cents. And we're kind of meeting there in the middle at like 15, 16. So 
And the thing that a lot of people have to understand is when things go, when, when people are the least optimistic, that is when things really take off. When people were least optimistic, that's when things really took off. When people are least optimistic, that is when things take off. And so it is in these times when I think, and, and I think we're probably going to see a slight retracement before we see a 20 cent, uh, 25 cent cash flow. Because I think every time when we've seen, um, if we take this out real quick, and we go back to the, the time where we broke above the 5 cent range, because we went from 5 cents to 10 cents, right? So we were at a very long period of time where, if I can draw some lines real quick, right? There was a period of time where we could not break above five cents, right? Um, now, it, back here in the earlier days, there was obviously less exchanges. There wasn't as much uh, opportunity on liquidity. So there was just obviously a lot of things, but we very well had a strong level of support at at least one cent, right? We had tested it once here, again here, uh, and didn't really test it down here, but we, we did drop uh, a little bit and stayed above one cent right here. So was, you could consider that maybe three times after we broke above it that we retested it, tried to go up to five cents, came back down, tried to go up, came back down, went back up, and then we saw a, a really, really strong uh, journey all the way back up. And eventually, we didn't go back down to one cent. Eventually, we found a middle ground, which was right here, right? So we, we tested this middle area a couple of times and we slowly started to move our way back up and then eventually broke out. So I think in a very similar fashion, and this isn't anything, this isn't any you know crazy 25 different uh, lines and 20 different Bollinger Bands and anything crazy. This is just looking at how history historically CASPA has performed and how it could lead to the next leg up for CASPA. And for some people, and maybe for those that uh, maybe aren't as focused on timing of CASPA uh, and we want to look at the bigger picture, they really don't care if they're buying CASPA here, here, or here because they know CASPA is going to eventually go up here. There are people of that mentality. But there are people that look at charts every single day and get disappointed by the price action that CASPA has. They see what goes on here. They don't see it pumping when Bitcoin pumps. They see what's going on here. They don't see it pumping when Bitcoin pumps. And so they get upset and they say, you know what, I'm going to move on to something else that pumps. And by the time that they exit right here is when a few days later, we see a new all time high. Now, I'm not saying we're going to see a new all time high in a few days. But what I am saying is when people get discouraged and people want to leave and they want to go chase some other gains for possibly maybe not. Maybe they make some great games. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But in, in the end, what you have to realize with Casper, if you're playing the long game, is Casper has to be played as a long game. You can't play a long game in a short window time span. When I talked about, and I'll get probably some feedback on this, but when I talked about the fact that XRP was going to go to $4 in 2022, in October of 2022, I knew because the fundamentals were very clearly laid out that that was going to happen. When I was talking about Bitcoin when it was at 20,000, 25,000, knowing that Bitcoin was eventually gonna to go to 100K, the fundamentals simply exist. The fundamentals simply exist for Caspa to go to new all-time highs, to go to 25 cents, and I think in this market, I think we'll see above a $1 Caspa. Now, for some people, they wanna chase other things, and then they have to eventually, because what ends up happening is that person will sell down here and they're like, okay, I'm glad I got out. And then all of a sudden, they see that, man, the price of Caspa is back at my entry. And they're like, ah, you know, maybe it'll correct back down. And then it spikes and like, oh man, I don't wanna miss out. And then they buy right here only to then have the price of Caspa come back down. It, it literally happens all the time. I see people talking about it all the time. So don't be discouraged when the price is down. Look at that as an opportunity. It's what's made the most uh, money for, the the best investors in all the world so i realize this kind of looks like a, a two-year-old drew on this and for very good reasons because this doesn't have to be rocket science this is something fairly simple to understand and i think for those of you who went in doubt zoom out and you look at the price appreciation you look at everything that's coming for casper in 2025 you have to realize and ask yourself 
do I really want to sell here, even though I know it's going to correct a little bit for the fact that Caspa has a lot more to give in the future. Now, I want to talk about this thing because a lot of people are going to be talking about Cadena and like, oh, Cadena is going to go to $100 or Cadena is going to go uh, back to its uh, all time high. In fact, this chart doesn't really do Cadena justice. It went to about $28. It spiked uh, to about $28 on some exchanges. So here's the thing that you have to understand if you have a few brain cells uh, about the fact that it's the same people that say that XRP is going to go to 10000 and that USDT is going to go to $5. They're the same individuals that have the one brain cell that they're trying to operate on when they're posting that TikTok video. So the problem is when you look at the total circulating supply of Canada, it's sitting at close to 300 million KDA. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the market cap that KDA reached back in 2021 was about a $3.5 billion market cap. So that market cap was with a lot lower circulating supply. Obviously, the supply gets paid out to miners. Miners either buy or, or my, either uh, hold or they sell to cover costs, etc. So in this sense, if Cadena was to go back to $28 and its circulating supply didn't change from where it is right now, well, let's just say it stayed at $300 million, right? which we obviously know that it's not going to, it's going to be at an $8.4 billion market cap, which would mean that if you look at Cadena's price, it would be up there with the likes of uh, Pepe, Litecoin, um, uh, above ICP for the ICP fans, it'd be above Matic, it would be above some of the top cryptocurrencies. And you're a lot of people are saying, oh yeah, Cadena is going to go back to its all-time high. I don't think that's going to be possible due to the fact that the circulating supply is going to not only increase, but I don't see an almost a $10 billion KDA price. And if you really pay attention to the fact of why Cadena is pumping, it's all leading up to a specific date. There was a major announcement, and this isn't to talk about KDA, but uh, there is a Founders AMA that's happening on December 17th. So... I think there's a massive pump because Cadena uh, themselves talked about this saying, hey, there's some big news coming, big things coming. Uh, don't miss this. KDA intern, um, which I, I mean, it only got 65,000 views. That's just kind of depressing. Um, just being honest. But I think that's one of the reasons why Cadena is pumping. You also have to think Cadena has been the out of the top cryptocurrencies in the top uh, I would say top 200 more than likely has been the one that has least recovered from its all time high in 2021. Uh, I mean, in my video yesterday, I should have probably added it in the top seven altcoins that have the most upside potential because they're still down so bad from their all time highs. That said, there was a ton of people who made money from Cadena. There's nothing wrong with making money from altcoins that have a ton of upside because they're, they've not recovered quite well to their prior all-time highs, regardless of what re whatever reason that might be. But if you look at this and you wanna take a gamble and you wanna take that risk of looking at an altcoin that is sitting at $1.73, if it was to go back to its prior all-time high, um, that's uh, about a 16X, right? So that, that's a pretty good return if it was to do that. I don't think it will do that because I don't see in Cadena's future an eight, almost a $10 billion KDA by the time there's more circulating supply. That's just my opinion. Um, I think Cadena will go back up um, and I, I think we're gonna see um, people like the this guy, uh, Crypto Jordan, make a clown, of him, a clown out of himself on Twitter, continuously talking about Cadena being better than Casper. You're gonna have those type of people just post because that's really all they can do. And so, you know, I, I don't think there's anything special about Cadena that's going to take it to a, twice the current market cap of cash. But I, I just don't see that happening. And that said, I do think there's going to be a recovery. And I think there's plenty of space in the market for both. You're going to have the same people that are Bitcoin maxis, people that are Ethereum maxis, whatever maxi you're going to have. You're going to have people that will look at Cadena and say it's Cadena or nothing. You're going to have people that look at Casper and say it's Casper or nothing. I think there's plenty of room in crypto for both. I do think there's more opportunity and a lot more exciting technology behind Casper than there is Cadena. That's just my opinion. And that's why I think from a performance standpoint, there's a lot more opportunity in Casper. From a long-term standpoint, I think this pump for Cadena is due to two things. One, you have this event coming up December 17th. 
after that event, it'll be interesting to see if there's going to be a price correction. More likely there will be. Maybe a short-term pump, but there's probably going to be a dump after uh, by the rumor, sell the news. And I, I just don't see Cadena being in the top 25. I just don't see it. I may be wrong, but it, right now it's at 172. I just don't see it going to the top 25. That's just my personal opinion. Um, Caspa, I, I think, it is, going, is, is primed for a, a massive breakout. And one thing that a lot of people are paying attention to right now is obviously the profitability of miners. And this is something that's been kind of briefly mentioned um, as far as people looking at Cadena. In fact, Bit Bitmain just announced some more KA3s being up for sale. When you look at the profitability, the I, and I had to kind of look at this, double check myself because um, Hobbyist Miner pointed this out on his Twitter and said that the profitability of Cadena was above $10. And I, I was really confused and I had to go and verify this for myself, it actually does look like the Cadena mining profitability is actually kind of insane right now. Sitting at $16 in profit, uh, you look over here, right now it's about $12. It's it's very, it's very varied. Uh, and then ASIC price is at $5.41. So, but overall, it's at all more recent all-time highs for Cadena KA3 mining profitability. So it is quite impressive. Obviously, Bitmain is going to take opportunity of it to sell more miners at inflated prices so it is interesting to see um this overall change you're going to see this also with the l9 uh the prices of l9 and resellers have gone through the roof because of uh what we've seen with um doge and with litecoin so in the end when you look at caspa don't get distracted realize this if you're playing the long game you have to play it as a long game and if you try to uh don't fomo don't if you're you're in it for the long haul, treat it just like you're in it for the long haul uh, because otherwise you're going to get burned out and you're going to miss the opportunity and you're going to miss out on the next new all-time highs for Caspa. But love to hear your thoughts on Caspa, Canada, everything that's happening in the market. Leave your thoughts, comments down in the comment section below. Enjoy this video. Smash up the like. Enjoy content like this. Consider subscribing. Until next time, guys, stay invested.